Welcome back, everybody. We decided to start this show off a little differently today. This is our Valentine's special, after all. We're getting you ready for Valentine's Day a little bit early. So we thought we would talk about how some uh, very important celebrities might be spending their Valentine's Day. When we think of romance these days, we're mm -hmm. probably thinking about someone who we think is not particularly romantic. Who is it? Oh, wait, let me see. Let me just guess. Let me just guess. Could it be uh, Tiger Woods? I just wonder what kind of Valentine's he'll be having with his wife. I hope that they, I hope they're not having a Valentine's Day together at all. I hope she won't be present or even near him for that matter because of um, the numbers that are coming out is is extraordinary. What you and I were talking about that. Yeah, we were talking about this. We, we decided to share some of this with you. We were having this discussion in the, the dressing room early this morning. How did this man... <laughs> He's the most well-known athlete in the world. In the world. He has all of these sponsors. He's the best golfer in the world. He does TV commercials. He travels for all these endorsements. How did he have time to maintain his relationships? How did he have with energy to maintain how do you these Exactly. How do you become the best golfer in the world and have enough energy to do all of this? <laughs> and how did... He get away with this, and yet now so he long. has not. But um, and, and did he really think that no one would just come forward? I mean, what, what was he thinking? Well, allegedly, you know, he was giving hush money. Right. But if you, but it's not good enough. Well, if you're with women who demand hush money, don't you think they're gonna <laughs> become unhushed when somebody <laughs> offers them $150,000 for a text message? I mean, come on. I mean, come on. It's Tiger Woods. Let me see. How much is it gonna be worth for me to keep? Zip <laughs> I mean, maybe uh, in the hundreds of thousands. I mean, what was he thinking? I feel for the wife. I have to be honest. Uh, I'm glad she left. I am glad she left. I'm glad she left to the other house. I applaud her very, very much. What would you do? If, if it were my husband doing this? I, I, the second I found out about it, I, I would be completely gone. Yeah. I mean, I would be... There, there's no way... There, I don't think... I don't think there's a way to forgive and forget this. Mm -hmm. I just don't think it's possible. And you have no children. I kept on thinking of these two children, because I have two girls, and not only you're destroying a marriage, but you're destroying the family, yeah. the nucleus, and these poor children, who are still too young, obviously, to understand this, but they're, they're going to pay an ultimate pri price for this, too. It's just so selfish. It's just so selfish on his part. Do you know what made me just horrified? It, because he is uh, a father, the thing that really, really struck me is that his, one of the affairs started. Allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly, one of the affairs started w when his wife was about two months from giving birth to their first child. I know. That, to me, is the ultimate selfish act. Yeah. You glad he lost some endorsements? I am glad. You know what? What happens in Vegas evidently doesn't <laughs> stay in Vegas anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't lost all of them yet. I'm hoping he loses another big one. We'll see what happens. <laughs> now, we would love to hear from you on this. Of course, you can go to thebalancingact.com. You can respond to our blogs. You can send us a message. We want to know what you think. And does this take the romance out of Valentine's Day for him? How many boxes of chocolate do you send that many mistresses? Gosh. <laughs> That's quite a lot of money. It is. Send us a message. We'll be right back, everybody.